Okay, we have a multi-wii OSD here, built in one with a PDB. We use this uh, new beta OSD configurator, and I'm going to try to do a little demonstration here. Um, this is what the screen looks like how I set it up. Uh, you can see I'm arming, I armed it and disarmed it, and then the fly time. That's actual the time that uh, you plugged in. No, I'm sorry. This is actually the time that you had it armed. Okay. This will show up after you unarm. This statistic screen will pop up and show you how long that you actually had your quad armed. Okay. Um, excuse the hand gestures. This is all going to probably look out of sync. But anyway, um, after you... Uh, Unarm it, and if you want to see your voltage down there that I'm pointing out to and your stuff on the screen again, you just simply move that throttle uh, up um, to get to back into that screen. Now I'm showing you uh, the flight modes that's changed at the top there, you know, uh, and then my call sign, which happens to be streak, um, will pop up periodically. Here I'm just I'm arming again to kind of show you that the the timer over there is, is moving when I have it armed, okay? Okay, pay attention to the stick movements I'm about to do here. That's real important. That's how you get into the menus. You simply you move up and then over to the right with your left stick. Then at the same time, move the right stick up. That gets you into your menus. That's real important. I forgot to mention that earlier. So if you want to adjust some PIDs, you know, there's that screen. Uh, quick little adjustments, you know, um, using putting my hand there so you can see it a little better. It's kind of washed out on the screen. Uh, and it turned to black and white too. But you use your left stick to toggle through the pages. an adjustment and then you just go left or right with the left stick as you can see it's changing right there then uh, these new this new this new beta is a little different so as I was doing this I was learning there was a um, something on the bottom of the page where you can actually save and exit now I think that you can just go down to the bottom of the page to where the cursor stops and I'm assuming it saves all of your changes for you so um, shouldn't be too hard to figure out but um, we're gonna go scroll through some more pages and see all the things that you have access to to change on the fly you know which is so nice about all this no hooking up to computers you want to make a quick little adjustments with your voltage or anything like that uh, it's right here at your fingertips. That's 13.8. I think that's what I'm trying to say here with my finger gestures. Yeah, that, that 138 is actually 13.8. Um, you have the capability of using RSSI. Uh, I personally don't care to get that fancy with it. It's a it's a racer quad, you know, and, and maybe freestyle. I pretty much know where I can go with my radio or not. We're going to go through some more pages here. Uh, you can turn on a current a virtual current meter. Uh, you have all kind of things. You can get as fancy as you want, you know, of course, with any multi OSD. And um, see what else we have here and some more pages. But uh, please excuse the, you know, if, you know, if you know all this, that's great. More power to you. But like me when I was trying to figure all this out I would have I would have killed for a little simple video of what this can and can't do you know and, and I'm probably not even scratching the surface so uh, if it helps somebody uh, I'm I'd be really happy if it helps somebody I hope it doesn't hurt anybody but uh, I think it should it'll be helpful to somebody so here we are going through some more pages and then I think uh, if you want to get out of the, the the pages here, I think you arm it real quick. Yeah, you just arm it real quick. 
Well, that might have been too quick. I'm trying to get out of the menus here. So I think what you have to do is actually arm it. And, and it'll, there you go. You arm it. And uh, it'll get out of it. 